<clears throat> well, sitting out here in the garage, drinking a little coffee, nice day. Uh, had some storms roll through the other day, were pretty bad through here in North Carolina. But I'm sitting here thinking, well, everybody puts these videos and commentaries out about this uh, pandemic, this coronavirus problem we have. And all these conspiracies and things and this stuff and but nobody's put made a video saying all the positive things that this pandemic has brought us and all the social problems that this pandemic is conveniently solving for us as we speak you know because uh first thing is they uh with everybody being in a stay-at-home order and not traveling, not going to work, not doing anything, uh, there's less people driving, moving about, there's less transportation. Uh, we're burning less fossil fuels. So in a lot of places, they said the smog, especially like in India and China, for the first time in years, you can see through the air, you know, uh, probably Los Angeles, that's the only place I encountered smog in all my travels. But uh, so that's a plus. Uh, I don't know if it's going to have an effect on global warming, which is another problem. And a lot of the animals are seeing a lot of animal activity and endangered species coming out and wandering around. Uh, so all of you animal rights activists, uh, there's a positive note there that human beings are move, not moving around so much as to where wildlife is starting to come out and be seen, okay? And, you know, there is letting all the prisoners out of prison, so nonviolent people. You know, it takes the burden off the overcrowded prison system. That's a plus. All these countries sealing off their borders, okay? stops this illegal migrants floating around like through Europe coming out of war-torn countries in the Middle East and migrating trying to get to England for some reason why I don't know but uh, put a stop to that which is good and the news media ain't bombarding you every 15 minutes like they were for the months coming up to this about all the violent crime going on shootings this and that you know in the area I live in Around Christmas time, around the holiday season, we had a lot of people robbing retail outlets and restaurants, even uh, armed robbery. Come in with a gun, give me the cash type of deal. Uh, while with all the businesses closed, the criminals have nobody to rob. So that's a plus. Violent crime is down. Okay. And you know, people have more time to go on social networking and you know, like some of the guys off my ship from years ago. Uh, one individual starts a statement saying that he's suspicious of the numbers of uh, this coronavirus or how it's being portrayed and let out. And of course, the other people that I, I know them all jump on his back. Well, I you know, listen, man, it's all fake, it's lies. And they're putting links to all these different news uh, leads and this and that. and arguing back and forth and I sit there and watch this and the thing is the jokes on all of them okay conservative liberal Republican Democrat the way things are going all of this crap ain't gonna matter because whatever's going on they're pulling off some real bad stuff okay behind the scenes Another thing they got rid of is like when you used to go out, <clears throat> like I said, I go to Costco or to Walmart, and sometimes you go there at peak hours and people are all in a hurry and trying to get in and very impolite and rude and kind of shoving you, cutting you off. Well, at least now with this whole system where they only allow so many people in, everyone's got to wait in line at a distance, so there's no shoving, crowding, everyone's scared half to death they've come in near anyone so they kind of put a stop to this 
in America, we have this fast-paced life. It's like people just are always in a hurry, whether you're on the highway, on the road, whatever. Everyone's, you know, you're going 5, 10 miles over the speed limit, and somebody behind you on the interstate's doing 30 miles over the speed limit and rear-ending you just about. And then, like I said, they all run into Costco in a hurry and push, shove, and everything. Well, that's all gone, too. That's a good thing, you know. But... Looking at it, I don't know how much longer this can go on. Uh, you know, they say, there's people saying now, it's supposed to be the end of this month, a few weeks. There's people saying they want to extend it another month and go into June. Uh, and like I said, they shut down the U.S. economy. Okay. Again, uh, this is economic warfare on a global scale. That's what I wanted to, I had to take a minute there. It's too many thoughts going in my head. It's economic warfare on a global scale. Now, why would somebody do that? Okay, I believe people that wish to control the world globally are using all of this uh, to bankrupt the world, which if it isn't already bankrupt, I know the United States is, Okay, and it's been a joke these past 10 years of them just keep going through all this, all right? Uh, I believe they're going to do something where they're going to have a global economy, period. One money, one set rate. How they're going to do it, I don't know, but lurking in the background, that's what this looks like. Because if this goes on, this uh, stay-at-home orders and shutting down the economy, there's a lot of people uh, that are going to go under the middle to small businesses are all getting destroyed here. Uh, commerce in general is stopping. I mean, when they close the branches of the bank and everything, okay, nobody's getting paid. But your relief check is probably on the way. They said they've got that out. So that's another good thing going to get your whole 1000 or 1200 or whatever, supposedly, they're, they're on the way, going to help you out. Don't know where how you're going to spend it, other than on some food or something, or a few stores open. Uh, everyone's gotten to uh, not worry about their bills. They won't shut the electricity off if you can't pay your bill. Uh, the mortgage company said, if I want to apply to have deferred payments, I can do it. Uh, which is neat. So if you're a type of person that doesn't like paying your bills, then there's a bright side to all of this. You don't have to pay them. And, you know, there's other things there. You don't like working, okay? Stay at home order. You can park your ass in the house and stay there till the end of time. And it's cool. You know? So like I said, in these perilous times, we have to look on the bright side of things. And like they bombard you on the TV, the little thing that says, we will get through this, we will get through this. But my question is, get through it to where? That's what I'd like to know. Yes, we will get through this. But where we're going to be when it all ends, I don't know. Something to think about.